to thank you right now. Runners are gearing up for one of the hottest starts ever at the Peachtree Road Race. Organizers are asking hundreds of thousands of participants to really start hydrating today, probably even now. Yeah, you can, it, you can never drink enough water. Crews are setting up the final touches along the route for the race's 50th anniversary. Haley Mason, she's live outside Piedmont Park where all the action is going to wind up there. How are you, Haley? Sean and Brittany, I'll tell you right now, I'm pretty hot. Organizers just wrapped up their walkthrough, and this heat is top of mind right now. After a year of planning, fortunately, they say everything is ready to go. They put the final touches on, but they're going to be bringing out these cases of water, some of them taller than me, making sure that people are hydrated and ready. Both the runners and the spectators, you can see them behind me moving in big pods of ice. And we were out here earlier today. We'll show you video. You're looking at 40 feet of ice packs in that one truck alone. Volunteers have been getting ready to cool off those sports drinks and hundreds of cases of water that are being brought in today and placed all around the park. Organizers are expecting 60,000 runners tomorrow for what's dubbed as the world's largest 10K. And they're also expecting between 100,000 to 200,000 spectators. The heat is a concern, though. They've pushed the start time up to 625 a.m. for the first real wheelchair races. And even by 7 a.m., though, when the full race starts, they'll be at 75 degrees. That is the second hottest start time ever for the Peachtree Road Race. 76 degrees was the hottest start time ever back in 2016, and we could potentially reach that if the clouds aren't out. They've issued a code yellow warning asking people to slow down tomorrow and to be mindful of the heat. But it's actually going to be a little bit hotter, a little bit more humid than normal. So uh, yesterday we made an announcement that we're going to start the race under yellow flag conditions. So we have an event alert system that goes green, yellow, red, black. And that yellow means, hey, slow down, hydrate, be mindful of the worsening conditions. And now if organizers have to put out a code red a flag, that will mean that the weather is actually dangerous and they'd be urging people to walk and asking people with health conditions to go ahead and reconsider if they should attend at all. With so many people coming out tomorrow, though, not only is weather a concern, of course, the traffic. They've got a special partnership with MARTA this year for the 50th year rolling out Caravans will tell you how to get around coming up at 5. Reporting live at Piedmont Park, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.